It's taken a while to like be comfortable in my own skin. I remember my first swim meet actually where I was like in the bathroom sobbing because I was afraid of being different. I was afraid of like taking off my leg and showing, you know, my scars. I'm Liberty Grace Freeman and I'm from Tucson, Arizona. We met Libby through an agency adopting out of Russia. A little shocking to just see how kind of challenging things were for her there in the orphanage. They would often just kind of sit her somewhere and just she would just stay there and play till she couldn't take it anymore and then she would go lunging, kind of lunging, hopping to get to the next thing. We put her in her prosthetic. She was so excited, she immediately just took off. When we were able to put her in a swimming program, to see her just take off, not just be able to, to play along, but to be competitive. I think the idea of just people saying that I can't do things and then proving them wrong, and being like, oh, you know what? Like, actually I'm faster than you in the pool. One of her very first swim meets, the end of the meet, we're getting ready to leave, and this little girl, and I think Libby may have been 10, it may have been like a six-year-old comes up to her, and says, you're an inspiration. And Libby really sweetly like, you know, smiles and says, thank you. And we start walking away and Libby turns to me, what's an inspiration? I'm just excited to, you know, just be active. Um, and I know so many people that aren't active, so I try to be as active as I can be. We were told about amputee blade runners through um, some acquaintances we met in the para-swimming or adaptive swimming world. Load up the entire family and drove to Nashville. Just got to really spend a lot of time with ABR. Their organization's amazing. When I met them, I was like, oh, this is so cool. These people, they just like, they open their hearts and they just, you know, for these kids and for these adults that want to be active. So I've always wanted to be a veterinarian, but um, if that doesn't work out, kind of wanted to be a prosthetist. It was amazing to see how much they care for people. We started looking at colleges and found that the University of Arizona is one of the top schools for adaptive sports. To be able to just get on the adaptive swim team that they are starting there at the University of Arizona was huge. I was so looking forward to college and I fell in love with swim and wanted to do swim for as long as I could. And so when I found the adaptive program, I was like, okay, this works. I want to make it to 2028 Paralympics. Everything she touches, she wants to do well, she wants to be the best. She's got a, a special little spark.